Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to discuss energy and power signal. So, before I explain what is energy signal and what is power signal, we should understand if given signal is energy signal, then it cannot be a power signal. And if given signal is power signal, then it cannot be a energy signal. But it is possible that given signal may not be energy or power signal. So this is what possible. Given signal may not be energy or power signal. But if it is energy signal, then it cannot be a power signal. And if it is power signal, then it cannot be a energy signal. Now to explain energy and power signal, here I have explained that with comparison. So let us begin this session with comparison see if you calculate energy of given signal and if it is finite one means if it is non-zero and finite then we can say that given signal is energy signal and as if you calculate power of given signal and if it is fin finite and non-zero in that case we can say power if that signal is power signal the reason is it is having finite amount of power so for energy signal energy is there in between 0 to infinite and for power signal power is there in between 0 to infinite. So for finite energy signal is energy signal for finite power signal is finite sorry for finite power signal is power signal. For finite duration energy can be calculated by limit time varies from minus t to t x square dt where x is signal and for finite duration power can be calculated by 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square dt. In some books you will be finding this formula is 1 by 2t but limit of this integration will be minus t to t. So that is what the difference that you will be finding in some books. In some books that formula will be given as per p is equals to 1 by 2t integration minus t to t x square dt. So here I have considered power calculation as per 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square dt. For infinite duration energy calculation is limit t tends to infinite where integration limit time varies from minus t to t x square dt. And for infinite duration power is limit t tends to infinite 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square dt. In some books for infinite duration power will be given as per limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integration time varies from minus t to t x square dt. So this is what you will be finding. This is how we can calculate energy and power. If you find energy of that signal is finite then we will we can say that signal is energy signal and we can calculate that by this basic formula and if you calculate power of that given signal is finite then one can say that given signal is power signal. If you have energy signal then power of that signal will be zero. If you have power signal then energy of that signal will be infinite. So in gate examinations you will be finding sometimes power is given to you and if power is given to you you don't need to calculate energy by this formula. You can directly say energy of that power signal will be infinite. In some questions you will, you will be given with power. So in that case energy will be infinite. In some cases you will be given with energy. In that case you can directly say power of that given signal is zero. You don't need to calculate that by this basic formulas. And few more basics that one should understand. Almost all non-periodic signals are energy signal and almost all periodic signals are power signal. So this is what we should understand. You will be finding that in future we will solve some examples so it will be more clear. So here I have mentioned this basics. Almost all non-periodic signals are energy signal and almost all periodic signals are power signal. See energy signal exists over short period of time and they are time limited. So energy signals that exist over short period of time. So that's why they are time limited while power signal exist over infinite time period so they are not time limited so this these are the basics that one should focus about when they try to understand what is energy and what is power signal so i hope that you have understood this session you can give your valuable suggestions in comments 
definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video